Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, here for another To The Point tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll go over how you can create a blur transition in Avid Media Composer. So let's get to it. There are actually a couple ways you can go about creating this effect. So let's start with the quick and easy one first. I'll start by just adding a dissolve between these two clips on my timeline. You can do this for however long you need, but I'm going to make it nice and simple and make it last one second, so 24 frames, since I'm currently in a 2398 project. Next, on V2, I'll add a couple edits at the beginning and end of the dissolve that I created, so that it also lasts exactly 24 frames, so that I can go over to the effect palette, image, and then drag and drop the paint effect into that little section that I created directly above the dissolve. Opening up the effect editor, I'll zoom out a bit on my monitor, select the rectangle tool, and then create a color layer that covers the entire frame. Going back over to the effect editor, change the mode to blur. You can then toggle this down to adjust the horizontal and vertical blurriness until you get it to look the way you want. Now that we have our blur, let's create the transition. Going to the very center where the cut is on my clips, I'll add a keyframe. Then go to the very first frame's keyframe and change the blurriness to zero. And finally, do the same thing with the last frame's keyframe. Rendering this out, you can now see that we have a pretty decent blur transition here that can definitely work in a pinch. But there's one issue with this method. At the very beginning and end of this transition, the shots that are slowly dissolving in and out are actually fully in focus, since the blur we made slowly builds and disappears. This can make it look a tiny bit choppy. So here's a slightly more tedious method that will eliminate that issue. To start, I'll add my edits, but instead of adding them on V2, I'll put them on V1 onto my actual clips for the duration I'm wanting the dissolve to last. Next, grab the paint effect and drop it onto the first clip inside where we made that edit. Open up the effect editor and create the blur just like last time. Then change the first keyframe to zero so it slowly blurs in. Now let's make the blur out by doing the opposite onto our next clip. An easy way to save you a little bit of time is to copy over this first paint effect we made over to our next by simply dragging and dropping this icon onto the clip. Now we already have our blur created, so all we have to do is change up the keyframes. I want this one to start blurred, so change the first keyframe to be the one with the blur, and then have the second keyframe at zero. Finally, just like last time, add in that one second dissolve between the two clips. Rendering this one now, it looks very similar to the first one we created, but because the first clip is completely blurring out throughout the dissolve, while the second clip is slowly coming into focus, it creates a much smoother look. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to comment below. And if you want to watch more of our tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.